this project, we're going to use the painting Senecio by Paul Clay for our inspiration to make our copycats. To get started on our copycats, we need to draw the head, so a big circle. Now, you might have a stencil or sometimes we trace the paint trays in the classroom, but we want it to be nice and big. It's going to take up a large portion of our picture. However, we need to have space for our ears, so don't go way up here, all right? And we also need to have space for the neck and shoulders, so don't go way down here. So I'm going to go right about there, right in the middle, and I'm just going to carefully trace my circle. And I can put my circle off to the side. And now we need to start breaking up the head, okay? So we are gonna start by drawing a line right down the middle. And remember, we're gonna draw it light until we got it right, just in case we need to erase. And then a line right across the middle. So it's gonna kinda look like a window. Now, we are gonna do the bottom part first. So for our kitty's nose, Let's put a V right here. That's our cat's nose, our copycat's nose. And now you get to decide, you can either have the mouth go all the way up to the nose, the mouth line, or, because that'll make it look like a big X, or you can go below it like this. I'm just gonna go below it like that. But making a big X works too. So, remember, with Mr. Klee's work, it's not like super duper duper realistic. So don't go sitting there being like, okay, now I wanna draw the, nope. We're going simplified with our shapes, okay? Now we need to give our copycat some eyes. And we're gonna mimic our master with this. So remember, we've got kind of like those football shapes and you get to decide if you want them to be straight across or kind of tilted like Mr. Klee's are in his painting. So to do a football shape, you're gonna do a U that's kind of flat. All right, and to that same point, you're gonna do just a bump, like that. If you want it to be tilted, you can kind of tip your paper a little bit. I think I'm just gonna go straight, and they kind of connect in the middle, just like they do on Mr. Klee's Senecio painting. And then a big old circle in the middle for the eye. We're gonna drop in some eyebrows now. So you'll have like one curved and one triangular, just like our copy, because remember we're making copycats. So we want them to look similar enough to the original that people will be like, oh, I know what painting that's based off. So I think I'm gonna do them on the same side. You can flip flop them if you want. I'm just gonna do them on the same side. So I have my curve and my triangle. It's a very tall triangle. Now, we are about to add something that Mr. Klee doesn't have his, on his, because his is a person, ours is a cat. We need some cat ears. You can go big, you can go small, you can go skinny, it's up to you, but we need two cat ears. Not, not more than two, our cat's only gonna have two ears. They're not simplified, or they're simplified. They're not, they're not crazy cats, okay? And then the last thing we're gonna add to the face is if you've ever looked at like a cat's face, sometimes you can see like the little dots where their whiskers are. We're not gonna actually draw in the whiskers, but we're gonna drop in some little circles just to kind of hint at the fact that there might be whiskers there. So somewhere between uh, three to five dots is good. Okay, and so the head part is done. Now we're gonna move on to the neck, shoulders, and tail. Our copycats are gonna have tails. Mr. Klee's person obviously doesn't have a tail. So the first things first is the neck. And you can do shoulders that just go straight down at an angle, or you can make them kind of like corners like Mr. Klee's are. All right, and then we'll just kind of separate that. Draw yourself a line down the middle of the neck and then decide which side you want to break into a smaller space. Like if you look at um, Senecio, it's got that like those little squares on the neck. We're not gonna go too small, but we're just gonna break one of the sides into a smaller space. And I'm gonna pick that one. All right, and then we're gonna do a big curve and then just boop, boop. So there's his shoulders and his neck. Now for the tail, 
it's gonna, you're only gonna put in one tail and it's gonna come off of one of the sides. So you could do a curve, you could do a question mark, you could do a curly cue, maybe it's a wavy gravy tail, that's up to you. I think I'm gonna come off of this side here and just kinda curve it a little bit like that so this tail's coming out from behind him. And now that I'm done, I get to move on to coloring. To color, we're gonna use oil pastels. And I sent some home with some with you guys. But if you are doing this and I didn't send any home and you're just doing it for funsies, you don't have to use oil pastels. You can use something else. But with the oil pastels, we get to mix the colors and we get to smear them and stuff. And it kind of makes it look, gets that texture like Mr. Klee's painting has. And if we look at Senecio, we'll notice it has mostly warm colors. So we're gonna focus first on just putting in our warm colors. So remember, our warm colors are like fire or the sun. So that's your reds, your oranges, your yellows. We could drop some pink in there, um, maybe some peaches. But each section is gonna get its own warm color. So I can't color anything that touches this triangle, not gonna color orange. And remember, with our oil pastels, you can smear them with your finger to kind of fill in those white spaces if you want. You gotta be careful. Your finger will get dirty, so watch out for that. Um, you can also mix, so I'll put that in there and then maybe I'll drop in some, so a little bit of red and then maybe I'll drop in some peach. Let's see what that gets me for a mix. Ooh, it's kind of like a pinkish color. All right, and if you need to clean it off, you can just grab a paper towel and clean it off. Um, cause sometimes they get dirty when they're in transport, but I am just going to color the whole thing using mostly warm colors. And we'll talk about cool colors in a little bit, in a little bit here for this, cause he does have a couple pops of cool color. So like I said, we're going to talk about that in a bit. Don't bother tracing cause we're actually going to trace this at the end. We didn't trace it first because the oil pastel is just going to smear right over the whole thing. So we'll just trace it at the end, not at the beginning. In class, this is a two day project. So if you wanna color half of it now and then the other half later, that's fine. So like I said, we're gonna talk about cool colors. And so in Mr. Klee's Senecio, he's got a couple pops of cool colors. And so we're gonna do the same. So I've left two spots blank. You're gonna put cool colors in two spots. And so cool colors are like blues and greens and purples. So I think I'm gonna drop in some blue right here. And then I'm gonna drop in some purple right here and then I'm officially done coloring. And you'll notice I've got fingerprints everywhere. That is because, like I said, your fingers are gonna get dirty with oil pastels. So make sure that you're being careful that you don't like smear it all over something that, like your shirt or something, you gotta be careful with that. All right, so now that it's done being colored, I need to trace. So you need to find a black oil pastel. You might have a little one somewhere in your box and we are going to trace everything. So if it was pencil before, it needs to be black oil pastel now. All right, now that I'm done tracing, you might wanna go wash your hands, but we are going to cut our copycats out. And if you wanna leave a little bit of safety space, that's like leaving a little bit of white next to your black line, that's fine. Don't cut the black line off, we need that black line. If you have a spot like this where it's kind of hard to get in between the tail and the head, you can just leave that in there. Otherwise, you can try your best to cut it out, but we are going to cut out the entire copycat. So make sure that you're being super careful. A lot of times people will accidentally cut off the ears or the tail, but you know what? Since we're gluing this onto another piece of paper, that's not the end of the world. We can always glue it on separately and then no one will ever know, except for you and me, will be our little secret. 
all right? So we're just carefully cutting everything out and I'm leaving a bit of safety space. I think that'll add like a nice white outline to it. Almost done here. All right. I'm gonna recycle my scraps and then I have to go get my warm colored construction paper to glue it to. All right, so my very last step is I have to glue it to my construction paper. Now we don't want our cats to be floating, so you're just gonna make sure that you glue it right along the bottom. And then once it's all glued down, you are done. If you wanna put your sign your name on the front somewhere, like Mr. Clay did and his, like you can see right here in Senecio, he's got it right down at the bottom. You can, you don't have to put it at the bottom, but I've got space for that, I might do that. But once it's all done, we have made our very own copycats of Paul Clay's Senecio. These look awesome, I can't wait to see yours.